I really didn't think that I would come here and judge so many of you guys. I thought I would just like react and it would be funny, but I'm actually just judging this nation. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anne Hambuda and I'm so excited that you guys are back for another episode on my crazy journey to figuring out this YouTube thing. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. If you're returning, I am so, so grateful. For today, I thought I would do a reaction video because I am always on the internet a lot and I see the wildest things like the wildest things and i thought like okay i need to share this stuff with you guys as well and you guys need to see the crazy stuff that i'm seeing where better to start than on namibia's hot tea that page is always asking people to send in like confessions or anything that's on their mind or whatever and people are always pouring their hearts out in namibia's hot teas dm and then namibia's hot tea screenshots it and post it to their story so we always get to see these anonymous confessions and i really wonder like what is it about nam hot tea that gets people to open up the way they do because people be confessing like literally even to crimes i'm not even joking people will literally be confessing like oh yeah the other time i stole seven computers when i was working at the ministry of environment and tourism off a 7b and i'm just like so this time around, Namibia's Hot Tea asked people to send in the secrets that they are going to be taking to the grave. Honestly, if it was me, there's no way I would share that with a like anonymous person on the internet, but Namibians are very brave. I took screenshots of all the ones that I saw had been reshared, but I didn't read them. So you're gonna see my honest uh, reaction, judgment, advice that I might offer to these people, um, and we're gonna see like what secrets are people taking to the grave. Like let's 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 begin. Okay, the first one. Um, the secret. I cheated on my boyfriend just two days after my birthday. I don't regret it though, girl, <laughs> because he ghosts me even for a week only gets to communicate if I initiate it. Also, he makes empty promises and does not live to fulfill his word. I sometimes wonder why he says things he clearly won't do. And the fact that he is distant. We are in the same town, but months will pass by without seeing me nor saying hi. When I read the first sentence and she's like, I cheated on my boyfriend. I went, I was like immediately like, okay, girl, you're wrong. Like, that's not the right thing to do. And then she was like, he ghosts me even for a week. And then I was like, girl, that's still kind of your fault. Because why are you dating someone that ghosts you for a week? That's not your boyfriend anymore, to be honest. In fact, I don't. you didn't even cheat on this person. That's not your boyfriend. You didn't do anything wrong, honestly, because that is not your person. I don't know. I don't know. Let's read the next one. Hi, Nam Hati. I am 26 and I had two abortions. No one, like absolutely no one knows about this, not even my boyfriend. I don't regret anything though, and I'm glad I'm on contraceptives now because abortion is so painful. Shame. I don't really have an opinion on abortions that I would like to share on the internet. I think, you know, do what you need to do. But I do think that you should learn from your mistakes and you cannot like repeat the same things over and over again i am very happy that this person decided to be on contraceptives now like that is what i would have advised after the first abortion but honestly you don't owe that to anybody like that's your secret you don't have to tell anybody that like, next secret i'm someone who talks a lot i tell my friends everything but this one that i had a thing with a married man i will take with to my grave i know they will judge and criticize me i'm not ready for that never yeah keep that to yourself okay just keep that to yourself because that's not information that you really need to share that's not something people need to know like that's not a side of your character people need to know and i hope you just do better moving forward <laughs> do better moving forward okay Aish nam hot tea it's hot here i've been cheating on my boyfriend with my neighbor for a whole year since last year this month 
and mind you my boyfriend used to cheat on me so disrespectful even admitting to it whenever I confront him. So I decided to take revenge silently, my dear. Every morning he greets the Namare when he's going to work and the way I laugh in my heart satisfies me a lot. I am now teaching him how to cheat without being caught. Guys really think we are stupid when we're in love with them. Is that really your boyfriend? Like, I, 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 I need to ask, because this doesn't sound like a boyfriend. Like, I don't know, because I just feel like why be with someone who you are gonna complain like disrespects you doesn't like you cheats on you is bad for you like why don't you leave this person because like, i don't think that like cheating back is gonna do anything for you cheating back is not the win that you think it is like moving on with your life and being happy and finding someone who loves you properly is a win in my books personally all right the next one is i have a side chick Why is everyone cheating? Like, I just, oh my gosh. I have a side chick and she only has my second number. Oh, and my faithful girlfriend still doesn't know. And she doesn't even have my second number. And we are dating for a year now with my girl. And whenever she's coming to me, I make sure I remove the second SIM card. And the side chick will always complain, why is my number sometimes off? But I always give her an excuse that comes to my head because my heart is not really into her but to my faithful girlfriend but i want to stop asap shashi any day i will be caught and lose this golden heart for good like ugh, cry me a river come on do better i actually judge people who have the energy to date multiple people firstly like who has that time why do you need to date multiple people secondly you probably don't deserve either of these girls honestly like nah i'm so done and this guy probably thinks he's like some Casanova, like, oh my god, I'm playing the girls, like, ooh, next secret. It said, I was in a relationship since 2014 till 2019, and I started sleeping with his brother in 2016 till beginning of this year. Also, I effed two other brothers, plus their cousins, since their parents are siblings. I love how proud this person is, there's like so many laughing emojis, they're like so proud, like, oh my gosh, I'm having sex with the whole family, yay! I don't really judge people who are promiscuous. I don't think I will judge someone for sleeping with a lot of people, like that's not really my business, but I don't condone or I don't agree that cheating is something that should be normalized, you know? Like, I'm just so disappointed in how many cheating confessions there are here. Gosh, let's move on. Ugh. I have been sleeping with my auntie's husband. You know what's so funny is that Nam Hati has managed to get people to confess to like crimes and stuff and I've seen people really like confess the weirdest things but I thought I would see weird stuff like oh my god I have a body buried in my backyard or something but it's literally just like I am sleeping around with everybody. Okay. I've been sleeping with my auntie's husband for the past three months now but she's the cause. Okay. Because she told me to stop seeing my boyfriend because he's come out not from a wealthy family. So I started sleeping with her husband because he is the one from a wealthy family and I am not regretting it. Like, do you know what's so crazy? The next sentence is said with like so much glee. Listen to this. She trusts, she trusts me so, so much, much and, and she, she stays, stays at work, at work from, from Monday, Monday to Saturday, Saturday while, while her, her husband, husband, husband works, works from home, home every day. day. I, am I am now the mama of the house. house. Uh, no, you are just the person that's being used for sex by that man. He's literally the only winner in this situation. You are not the winner. Don't even get it twisted. Next secret. I lied to my boyfriend that I was pregnant and I need money to abort it. Since I'm not ready to be a mother again and he sent me 1500 I chucked my money in peace. So I'm taking this to the grave. All that for $1,500? Like... I always wonder how men get scammed into giving money for abortions because I feel like if someone you got pregnant is having an abortion, you need to be there with them at the doctor, like, or whoever is performing the abortion, like, you, this is not a one-person show, I'm sorry. Hi Namibia's hot tea, 2015 December, my grandfather wanted to sleep with me, Oh, and I was just 14 years by that time, I wanted to tell Oma, but I am ashamed. I don't know how to tell her. He is no more though. Thank God. Like, I am so happy this girl's grandfather is dead. And I hope that it never happened. And I hope she finds the courage, the strength, and the voice one day to be honest to the people in her family and in her life because I think they need to know the type of person that disgusting old man was. Next secret. 
I okay, it says I make two abortions, but I assume it's I had two abortions. The first one we did it together with the boyfriend, and the last one no one knows about it, and I will never tell anyone until the grave. I don't even feel bad or regret. Take it to the grave, girl. Take it to the grave. Don't tell anybody. That's only your business. Um, that I hardly came in bed while making love with my ex. Aww. I had to pretend a lot and for that he still sends me money so I'm taking this secret to the grave and to think that guy is somewhere sitting and thinking he hammers me well I was gonna say that nobody won in that situation because we always think like oh my god like I'm gonna fake an orgasm and that's good like because I like he, nobody wins when you fake an orgasm I swear because he's not gonna learn you're not gonna get pleasure you know what I mean but then she was like he still sends me money because he thinks he's like some sort of stallion or something. So it's like, okay, girl, get your, get your coin. Get your coin. This one says, I did an abortion and no one knows about it. It's nobody's business, girl. <laughs> so this next secret says, I'm dating a top thug in Namibia. This guy spoils me rotten. Doesn't matter if he's in jail or out of jail. He will always find a way to spoil me. My friends are subawelling our relationship, yet they don't know what my man does. Good. Don't tell them. They'll try and date him. Chomi, I exchange sex for money, but I have a boyfriend. He doesn't give me anything in capital letters. <laughs> All he does is empty promises and lies, though I love him. And I tell new men that I'm in a relationship, but they insist on making love and then giving me a car allowance. No one knows I do this, but Chomi, a girl's gotta do her hair and nails most. <laughs> I don't feel guilty about it. Matter of fact, I wanna dump my boyfriend so I'm free. Yes, I want to take prep and I'm on birth control. I'd like to start with that actually. Get on all the birth control. Take prep, wear condoms, use contraceptives properly and effectively, please. Secondly, yes, dump that boyfriend. Let him go and find a girl that will treat him right. Thirdly, get your money, girl. Get your money. So I had an affair with our pastor. Actually, my room got broken into by thieves. By that time, I used up a whole refund money to pay rent four months in advance Oof. and buy things for my young sister who got pregnant in grade 10 and it passed and deliver while in grade 11 i don't understand that sentence but yeah my mother is unemployed father and big brothers abandoned her oh even the brothers damn like men really know how to pass on their ancientness hey eh? i was using a gas cylinder for cooking so i need a new one plus 200 per month for water and electricity while waiting for my next refund this that day was not in good terms with his wife cheating again who is now an ex he always confides in me but since i was in trouble by my stolen things i couldn't talk to him like before so we cuddle until sex developed feelings for him two months later i was born again one child and one abortion i'm always regretting the affair Oh, it was with her pastor. I had an affair with our pastor. I forgot about that part because I was like, where's the scandalous part? It's not like that scandalous. It's with the pastor. But you know, pastors, pastors do things, guys. Pastors do things. That's all I'm going to say. I am cheating on my boy. I'm just so done. I cannot. I'm cheating on my boyfriend because he's failing me most of them things. He is very weak. Oh, he's... His game in bed is very weak. We are in a distance relationship. I didn't want to cheat, but he is giving me the room to do it. I need time, attention, but more guy. Don't do things right, I'm not gonna leave him. Plus most of the time he's telling me he's busy, no conversation, I assume. The person I'm doing it with is the best. He is kind and caring, making sure I, can f I can't feel his absence when he's not around. The game is 10, attention Sh is that. Our vibes are matching. He is the one. We both having side relationships though. But he's the one, right? Yeah, okay. I don't even know if I should advise this person. Like, they are clearly not gonna listen to anybody. Like, this person doesn't have any sound reasoning. So it's like, I have no comments. So this person said the secret they're taking to the grave is their body count and one abortion. And Nam Hati is like, what's your body count, Choma? <laughs> And the verse is like 62, 18 rows. I even had a threesome once. Like I said, I'm not really gonna judge people for the amount of sex they've had. I'm more just curious as to like, do people, do you guys really count the amount of sex you guys have? Do you really count and say like, oh yeah, like, like is that really what's happening? Imagine sitting there like, Ah, 
Ah, guys, okay. Anyways, the man that my mom almost got married to in 2020 almost raped me when I was homesick and my mama went to work. He was left with me, so he almost took advantage. I ran for my life till she came back home. I'm glad God listened to my prayers and she kicked his ass to the curb. Wow, finally, like parents who are doing what they're supposed to do because you read too many stories about either the child being too scared to tell the parents because they know how the parents will react or the parents will want to keep it a secret or the parents won't believe them or their parents will like be rude to them because it's like what did you do to attract this grown man what did you as a child do like so i'm really proud of this 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 mother i'm really proud and yeah that's good i had sex with two guys in the same day <laughs> I'm getting so upset the more I read these confessions it's just yeah I had sex with two guys in the same day like I went to my boyfriend at his place in a different town and then we had sex raw for that matter just two rounds homeboy has a small zozo and he's got not really bad in bed then this other guy from our town texted me to go to him then I told him I was not around but would be in town in an hour's time I lied to my boy friend that my mom is calling me to go home nah. i went to the other guy and we did it again this guy knows how to f nah, and he will make you squirt <laughs> girl we did four rounds i wasn't able to walk so i stayed at the guy's house for three hours and then he escorted me home because we don't really stay far from each other i swear i won't tell my boyfriend this please do tell him and leave him alone like leave him to find a girl who will treat him right anyways I've been having an affair with two brothers. One is 28 now, the other 34. I first started with the younger one when I was 18. I'm 23 now. And the older one we started when I was 20. I just don't have it in me to date either of them because they are my neighbors, Koamu. There was even a time I did the dirty the same day at different times. I just can't choose one. They're all good at the job. <laughs> It's still going on though, and I'm still having a guy that I love, but shoo, I can't let them go. I know I said I don't judge people for like promiscuity. Like you can have sex with as many people as you want. I just hope that people are taking care of themselves and they're not being reckless and they are not spreading diseases. You know what I mean? Like love yourself a little bit, you know? Love yourself a little bit. My kid has two fathers. They are all supportive, wow. How did she manage that? Like, that's... How did she convince two men to... I made a birth certificate with the real father. The other one ignored me when I was pregnant. I told him I have put my daughter on my big brother's surname and told him my family hate him so much that he doesn't even have the right to take the baby from my brother. Homeboy is dumb. I send him pictures and he's like, wow, she's mine. That is so cruel, girl. Both of them, I told them to go for DNA test. The fake father is scared of that. The real one can't do it because he knows he's the one. Mind me, I will handle everything. The kid is now two years. The fake dad is forever regretting. I'm so curious, like, what do you even want from that man? Like, he can't possibly be giving you that much money if you barely even let him see the child, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like, you just want to torture him and be mean, or you just want to be an evil person? Or you just want to give your child psychological problems because they'll like have this random ass man that's like their father but not their father? What are you doing, girl? I am effing both my neighbors. Do they live together or is it like <laughs> one neighbor on this side one neighbor on that side? Maybe from the one neighbor you'll like sometimes need like sugar or whatever and the other one you'll maybe need like a cigarette sometimes, you know? <laughs> so it's win-win. You should actually have a relationship with someone that works at the cooker shop in your street. Like, that's the best thing for me. Yeah. I'm bisexual and my neighbor's wife is also bisexual. Meaning, I am effing both the wife and the husband. <laughs> I'm the only one that knows and they both give me money. You know what, I was gonna say like, oh, adultery is bad, like don't sleep with married people, but I feel like if they're cheating on each other, they both deserve it, so I don't even know. Like I keep saying, I hope you guys are condomizing. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. 
I've been sleeping with my cousin for a year and some months now. Guys, the world is so big. The world is so big. The world is too big to be sleeping with your cousins. Like, there's so many people in the world. There's so many countries with so many types of people. So many. Don't sleep with your cousins. He is crazy for me. Whenever I want to end this effing thing he doesn't want, he said I'm his lovey-dovey. The funny part, again, he is jealous if I'm with my boyfriend. You have a boyfriend even. Like, I am pregnant with a different guy that I met three months back. The problem is I told him too and my boyfriend too. My boyfriend is very happy and he sends me anything when I'm craving. The other guy accepted and I asked him 800 and he ignored me. So I sent him a screenshot with me and my friend acting as a private doctor. I told him that I am no longer pregnant and he believed me. Oh my God. She was like, you ain't giving me $800. Well, poof, you have no baby no more. He even came to see me yesterday. Apparently I'm a problem solver because he can't see that I'm still pregnant. Oh, so he was like, oh yeah, you got rid of the baby. Why is this guy still in your life, girl? I mean, come on. I'm feeling pity for my boyfriend, really. Are you feeling pity for your boyfriend? Are you? Whenever I'm thinking of this baby in my womb, I feel like flying away. I don't want to abort because he seems infertile. But he impregnated you? We've been dating for four years now without protection, but nothing happened. Maybe it is the other guy's baby. Hmm. Oh, it is the other guy's baby! It is the Oh, I see now. I see. I was reading it wrong. It's the other guy's baby. Oh, and when he wouldn't give her the $800, she was legit just like, well, pff, I killed the baby anyway. And so she wants her boyfriend to be the father because he's giving her money and he's happy. But she thinks he's infertile. Girl. <laughs> Girl. I don't even, I don't even know. Okay, so someone else is in the same situation. I was so confused that I didn't know who the father was, so I told them both. Yo, you guys are so brave. You guys are so brave. I would just wait till the baby's born and see who it looks like. <laughs> And then they'll tell you. <laughs> they both helped me out during my pregnancy with things like taxi fare, cravings, as well as buying the baby stuff. I delivered my boy and waited for like a month and did a DNA with the one I was kind of sure of. And it came out positive. And later I told the other guy the entire truth. LOL, he didn't reply my message till this day. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm happy that I told him the truth and my heart is free. My baby is a year now. Honestly, this is not even like a grave taking secret. Like this is good. You did good. I'm glad you told the other guy that it's not his baby and you're living with a like guilt free conscience. That's good. That's amazing. I'm proud of you. Show me I am engaged getting married in December, but I made a big mistake. I slept with my ex. We were both in toxic. Stop cheating. The only secret I will die with is not mine, but my cousins. She is HIV positive and it's this other minister that infected her, but she only told me and no one else. So won't she see this on NAMHOT and know that it's her you're talking about? I feel like this current generation just opens their mouth way too much because people will go on the internet and be like, oh my gosh, guys, my mom just pulled a squirrel out of her vagina, like a whole thread about it. And I'm like, why are you guys talking about your parents and your family on the internet? Like this dude, like, so those were the secrets that Namibians are taking with them to the grave or so they say, I mean, them and Namhati are taking the secrets to the grave. And I did my share of judging. I'm kind of like ugh, grossed out from reading all those secrets. And I'm just like so tired of Namibians sometimes, but land of the brave, I guess, like so brave. Yo, people are hella brave. Like nobody cares about anything anymore. I feel <laughs> like, wow. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. Please, please, please have an amazing day. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.